Hello everybody! Well, in this lecture I want to talk about, I know it's weird that I'm starting with a Udemy page, I know, I know, but it has a logical explanation, you'll find out soon. Um, in this lecture I want to teach you about the H1 tag. I want you to learn what is an H1 tag, why do you need it, and how do you use it on your website, on every page of your website. So let's start. What is an H1 tag? H1 tag is basically the main heading of your page, of each page of your website. Generally or normally, most of your website's pages will be will have only one H1 tag. So how do you know what is the H1 tag on your page? So this is Udemy's page, Udemy's main page, and this is the first heading we see. So I want to know if this is the H1 of the page. What I'll do is right click, inspect element, and yes, here you, go. you can see this is the H1 of the page. How can I see it? I see it right here. Do you see this? It says H1 class. You can ignore this. This is something with CSS. It's relevant for developers only. But this is the opening h1 tag and this is the closing h1 tag and whatever is between this is the this text is the h1 text so in this case it's what course will your life take we can try another example like uh, wikipedia so this is the uh, wikipedia entry for search engine optimization i'll right click inspect element and the main heading of this page is exactly search engine optimization h1 opening h1 tag right here closing h1 tag right here so they did it correctly so go wikipedia yes and if it's easier for you there is another way to do it you can right click view page source and search for the H1 tag. This is how you search it. And there it is right here. So opening H1 tag, closing H1 tag, and the H1 tags itself. So how do we know that H1 really counts something for, for Google? Okay, so let's do this. I'll search for search engine optimization starter guide on Google and the first result will be this PDF from Google. Let's click. And if you go to page 20, you'll find this. Use heading tags appropriately. So Google are suggesting us to use all heading tags appropriately and they say use heading tags to emphasize important text. So they say the text of the H1 tag and all the other headings are super important. And then they say they give us like another clue and they say this is a visual cue about the H1. They say this is a visual cue to users that this text is important, the H1 text. So basically they say that this text is very important to users. And we do know this is very important to users because of course this heading should describe the entire meaning of the page. So if Google say to use heading tags appropriately and the text is very relevant, it gives us some kind of a clue that implementing keywords in the h1 tag will be very important and will be very effective because they really take into consideration the text of your h1 tag so the two most important things about h1 tag is first have probably in most of your pages only one h1 tag and the second thing and the most important thing is use the right keywords in your h1 tag so you already learn how to perform keyword research so let's do the same thing together right now 
So let's take this keyword research as an example. Let's say my website is talking about uh, creating websites. It might be a, a page inside my, my website or it might be even a blog post. So I sorted it to three different categories, create, make, and your own. So in create, I have keywords like create website, creating a website, uh, website creation. In make, I have uh, make and making a website and you know, create and make are pretty much similar. So Google tends to look at uh, those two keywords like they were almost the same one, but still will be more effective to use one of them more than the other if one of them has more searches. And then your own category includes keywords like create your own website, make your own website, build your own website, creating your own website. So I kind of have these three different uh, categories of keywords that are kind of the most important keywords that I can use. So what I want to do is I want to take as much keywords as I can and implement them in the most important elements of my page. So you know two of the most important elements on a page are the title tag and the H1 for keywords. So what I will do is I'll take the title tag and I'll implement create website keyword in the title tag because it has the largest amount of searches. But I do want to use the word make as well. So what I'll do is I'll implement the make a website keyword or making in the H1 tag and I have your own, the stuff that includes your own, all the keywords, create your own, making your own. So I'll implement your own as well in the H1 tag. So the title tag contains create website and the H1 tag contains making website and your own website. So it's a win-win situation. I managed to use as much keywords as I could and implement them inside of the most important elements of the page. There was a time I implemented a keyword like your own in my H1 tag and the result was that all the searches that includes your own started to improve their rankings after a few weeks. So I know it works, I know the H1, I know from Google that the H1 is very important for them and I know it could be very effective to improve rankings. So you must use your H1 very effectively. But you know what? I have a question for you. What if few of your H1 tags are empty and your website contains a lot of pages? So the solution for this case and anyways to check what are the H1 of every page of your website is Screaming Frog. Let's open Screaming Frog and search for Kindly Convert, the website I created. I'll filter to HTML only. Those are the pages of my website right now. And if I'll scroll right, you'll be able to see the H1 of each page of my website. So this is a great way to know if there are few H1 tags on your website in few of your pages that are empty. An empty H1 tag, or if you don't have H1 tag at all, it's just a waste of an H1 tag. This is a great place to implement keywords and improve your rankings. So use the H1 tag. Always implement keywords, but you have to make sure it will still look natural. Open Screaming Frog and crawl your website and make sure all of the H1 tags on your website are implemented correctly and all of them have keywords. And if some of them don't have keywords, so you already know how to perform a good keyword research. So do all of this and let's move on to the next lecture.